Yo, what's up, autistic gamer? Well, I wanna I wanna create a new uh, a multiplayer profile for ETS two as well, so that when we do like the uh, the cargo uh, the the convoys, uh, we'll switch periodically between American truck and Euro truck for the people that have one and not the other. <clears throat> but first off, I need to change some settings. W what? Okay, hold on. Hey mom, how are you? Is that my password? Yes, apparently it is. Hey Pris, how are you? You're lazy today? Psh, me too. My Euro trucks isn't responding properly at the moment. It's all weird. It's in it's in full screen borderless, but only taking up like eighty percent of my monitor. So I don't. We're, we're gonna give me a second. We'll get this fixed. Game change detected. That's fine. We're not playing here anyway. Options, graphics, nineteen twenty by ten eighty, full screen. Yeah. What's the deal? Your, your grandmother gave you a cold for Christmas? That's lame. Alright, cool. Let's... No, I don't want to do this. Let's quit real quick. I'm going to relaunch the game. Hopefully... It will launch in proper full screen now. Hey! Am I going to be streaming Luigi's Mansion later? I assume by later you mean today, and the answer to that is no. Am I going to stream Luigi's Mansion eventually? Possibly. Which is also a probably. But uh, not, not anytime soon. I want to knock a couple of games out before I get back into that. What's up, Mustard? Kalu, how are you? Trika? What's going on, everybody? Alright, let's make a new profile. Uh, mail, picture, whenever they still have the same dude at the bottom, they do. Preferred truck design, where is... I forget which Scania I prefer, or I, I prefer, I think it's this one? Hmm. Interesting. Let's go with that one, that one looks pretty awesome. Uh, uh, English, playing mode, Europe. Nope, that's fine. Keep going. Keep going. What are you doing? What's up, Roman Letters?
There's a lot of load screens when you start a new profile. <laughs> Okay, first things first. Go away, music. Alright, uh, gameplay. Fatigue and traffic are off. Uh, what was the other one? Realistic fuel consumption is off. Okay, I'm going to want this... Like that, that's correct. I want this all in European units here. Regional, continental Europe, euros, kilometers, kg and long tons, C liters. Okay, that's all fine. So that's good. All right. Um, Left turn indicator, right turn warning, that's fine. O is the same. Okay, cruise control, increase, decrease, resume, cruise start. I think everything else I have on default for the most part. Oh, wait, no. Uh, horn is H, okay. Air horn is plus... I think that's good. Okay. What kind of truck am I in? Oh. Okay. I'm down with that. Uh, that. Nope. There we go. That's what I wanted. Can y'all hear the uh, the game audio okay? Like the idling of the truck engine and stuff? It seems a little quieter than American truck. You can? Okay. Good enough for me. All right. Uh, yeah, we're just going to go with the easy parking because I'm lazy. Color you guys surprised, right? Matt? Lazy? No. I guess the truck is just quiet. All the other sound effects seem about the same volume. Dude, 16 experience. Damn. We are well on our way, right? Okay, so basically I need to get to the point where I can buy my own truck. So we're just going to take quick jobs here out of Berlin and we're going to go with, let's go with total price. That's not too bad. Your headquarters is a bit of a dump. I know, right? Very disappointing. All right, what are we looking at on the screen on this one? What is that? This, this truck doesn't have any speed indicators. Well, yeah, it does. It's always available. Oh, that's handy. 
Okay. Dude, I like how big those mirrors are on the side, too. That's really good. And just as a reminder, this is going to be my multiplayer account as well, so I don't have to worry about um, traffic violations, but I'm not going to, like, blow through red lights or anything because there's AI traffic. I'm just kind of gonna kind of keep an eye out and then gun it kind of thing. I have new email. It's probably the bl the bank telling me I can take a loan. True facts. Matt, lazy, zero skill, can't jump. You're not wrong. next to me. I gotta have like a little cheat sheet. I gotta make a little cheat sheet for how fast certain speeds are. Because I'm not used to the kilometers and knowing how fast that is. Anybody's there. The AI is probably freaking out every time I go through a red light. It's all like, hey, what am I supposed to do? You feel bad for picking on me? Don't. <laughs> I don't know what to say. So I have all the DLC for Euro Truck 2 with the exception of Italy. So for now, we're going to avoid Italy, but hopefully I'll pick that up soon. I'm guessing 80 kilometers is roughly 65 miles per hour. Because that seems to be the default speed on the freeway. may fall asleep. That's okay, Mom. Don't worry about it. I won't take it personal. <laughs> hey, Maestra. How are you? Oh, good. The clock is in 24-hour by default. Excellent. trucks are so much quieter than American trucks. Holy cow. Sixty miles per hour is ninety six kilometers. Roughly one and a half times. So this is more like fifty miles per hour. Yeah, the turn signal the turn signals are pretty loud, yeah. I'm surprised because the engine's like right there. You know, it's like right in between me. Or maybe it's under my feet. It's probably under my feet if I think about it. <clears throat> Dude, Euro Truck looks like it got a, a graphics update since the last time I played it. It looks so pretty. How 
you pronounce this truck company? Is it Renault? I think I think that's how it's pronounced. Because people kept making fun of me when I would call it Renault. Am I supposed to be on the right side of the truck? No, that's British. European is on the left side. Most of mainland Europe is on the left side. England is different from pretty much everyone else. And I think Australia also follows England of being on the left side of the road. She, I, I think he's referring to being on the left side of the car, not the not the uh, left side of the road. <clears throat> Correct me if I'm wrong on that one, Kalu. Also, what's up, bro code? You're still in recovery? Well, I have it easier. I don't drink. All right, let's just kind of blow through this. an interesting area. Yeah, they they drive on they the roads are on the right hand side or they drive on the right side of the road, but in the car they're on the left side of the car. Yeah, we're going electronic tolls here. Oh. I guess this one doesn't have electronic. Let's not jackknife my truck, shall we? That's inconvenient. Well, I'm glad you had fun, bro code. Renault, okay. That's kind of what I thought. Did I have a good New Year's? Yep, I was asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I went to bed at like 11 and just immediately crashed. I don't even try to party anymore. I'm just like, nope. Not, I mean, obviously I'm the partying type to begin with, right? But... Like, I don't try to, I haven't tried to stay up until midnight on New Year's Eve for, like, I don't know, 15 or 20 years.
New Year's isn't that big of a deal for me. It's just another day. I just have to remember what number to write on my checks and on all my paperwork. Well, yeah. It's almost like putting a three on the other side. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, this will go all the way up to 90 kilometers. Okay. So I'm guessing 80 is probably more like 55, roughly. And I cannot wait until American Truck Sim has has more trucks to choose from. We've only got four, and in Euro Truck there's like twenty. <laughs> there's so many trucks to choose from. Oh, you usually just Netflix and chill. I usually just sleep, just bed and sleep. I don't have the energy to do that anymore. I get to like 11 p.m. and I'm over there just like, I'll just about to like keel over. Is, is electronic toll booths not a thing in Europe? Do you have to stop at every toll and, like, physically hand money to them? Headbanging without the music? Basically. The whole concept of coming to a stop at a toll booth is just so weird. Like, toll booths are, are generally uncommon in the U.S. to begin with. But, uh... The vast majority of our toll booths are almost exclusively electronic. So like there there's at, like I think there might be one lane where you can stop, but all the other lanes are electronic. They'll just take a picture of your license plate and send you an invoice in the mail. You have to sign up for it. Well, I get that you have to sign up for it, but there's not even a lane. Like, in this toll booth here, there wasn't even a lane for me to just blow right on through. I can't... I'm having trouble reading that name. Cool ADK. What is up, dude? Sorry, my Twitch is in dark mode. It's not your fault. Dark lettering on dark background is difficult to read. I guess it also depends on the country I'm in. Like, I guess I'm still in Germany. No, I'm probably in Poland now. And I am going to butcher all these European names, too. When we start doing convoys in Eurotruck, I'm going to be all like, Alright, everybody, we're going to... I don't know what this city is. Like, some of the Polish cities are just like... Oh, and these. Oh, Jesus. Swedish cities? Good lord. Not even gonna, not even gonna do that. Yeah, I think in Italy there's there's jobs that come all the way down into Sicily. That's gonna be awesome. I'll probably get that next time it's on sale. Poznan. Horribly butcher that name, I'm sure.
Okay. I need to be in the right-hand lane. Oh, cool, that trucker's letting me over. Thanks, dude. One of your all-time favorite games, Euro Truck, or just either Euro Truck or American Truck? I mean, I, I would guess if you're a European, then you probably have a preference towards Euro Truck. That's why I have a preference towards American Truck. Oh, you're from Denmark. Ah, gotcha. Does this make you want to be a truck driver? No. No. No offense to truck drivers, but no. I, I, I would do it if I had to. Like, I, I didn't have a job. And, like, a trucking company was all like, we'll pay you to work. I'd be all like, well, yeah, I'll do it. This is nowhere near good enough. Okay, sure. We'll stop here. <laughs> hey, level one. Let's get, uh... Well, shoot, let's get Fragile Cargo. What are my emails here? Scania trucks for sale and a bank can loan me money. How much can the bank loan? 100 euros? Or 100,000 euros, sorry. Alright, quick jobs. Let's get another job here. Let's go to Gdansk. That's how that's pronounced, right? Gdansk. Nailed it. No one can tell I'm American now. Ooh, this one's interesting. It's an Iveco. Cruise control. Okay, gotcha. What am I hauling? Oh, interesting. Farming equipment. Okay. Hot loads. What's up, Iowa's Dirt? Man, the blinker on this truck. Holy cow, that sounds weird. Oh, interesting. I know, right? Listen to that blinker. Oh my god. It's so delayed. Click, 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 click. I'm like, wow, that is so slow. Caster containers? What is what are caster containers? Like castor oil? O 
Oh, they're used to transport spent nuclear fuel. Yeah, definitely. I would love to. I mean, one of the uh, one of the skills is. Um, toxic and infectious substances. They could just include nuclear waste in here. That would be awesome. I, I've always wanted to transport that. I mean, there's a lot of uh, nuclear reactors in Europe, aren't there? I mean, there's a bunch in the U.S. as well, but... Isn't that one of the more popular ways of, of producing electricity in Europe? Oh, French has a lot. Germany's actually going to disable theirs. Okay. Is Germany switching to solar and wind or something? Or what's Germany doing to replace their nuclear power plants? I also don't know what that sign means. A white sign with a black slash through it? I don't know what that's referring to. Interesting. So it's notifying you that the speed reduction that you were just in is now over. Wouldn't it be more efficient to have a sign that just told you what the new speed limit was? I mean, you're not increasing the number of signs. You could just have another one of these red circle signs with a number in it instead of that black slash sign and just completely eliminate one kind of sign that you have to print. I don't know. As an American, it seems kind of silly to have signs that don't give you any information other than, hey, that, oh, that whatever speed limit you were just going, ignore it. Good luck figuring out what the new one is. I guess you're supposed to know what the national speed limit is, but... In the U.S., we don't have national or state speed limits. They change all the time. Man, Euro truck is just so pretty. I guess it's because American truck, it's all like desert states right now. So there's no, like, nice-looking states. As a Swede, you also find it kind of dumb that you've got the little white sign with the slash through it instead of just a new speed sign. Yeah, it's kind of what I was thinking of. I was like, that's kind of interesting. 
speed limits only go until the next intersection? Well, here, here in the U.S., we routinely have a speed sign after every intersection, yes, as well. Even if the speed is the same, we'll have another sign so that if you've, if you've turned at your intersection to come on to the other road, uh, they want to give you a speed sign to tell you, hey, this particular road is this speed. So you get a lot of speed signs. Because after every ma major intersection, they'll have one. Like if a residential street dumps onto like a five lane, uh, five lane major street, it, there won't be one after every single one of those. But also, hey, cuckles, what's up, dude? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna take a left and go straight through this other toll booth. from last night. That seems to re be a recurring theme today. It may also just be one of those things of like, this is the way we've always done it, so... You know, if that's the way if that's the way you've always done it in Europe and we've always done it differently in the United States, we're never really going to see eye to eye on it. <laughs> messaged me yesterday night. You were in the middle of walking to a bar and you saw me come online. But was I streaming? Or did you message me on Discord or something? Because I, I didn't get anything on Discord. On Twitch. Oh. I need to check my Twitch messages. I, Twitch messaging is not something I check on a regular basis. Because I don't get any kind of, like, notification or pop-up or anything. You have to, like, manually go and check it every single time. I find it super annoying. Oh, you mean in chat? Oh. Biggest difference you've noticed between German and U.S. driving, roads and parking have a lot more space. I'm assuming you mean in the United States. Our roads and parking lots are much, much larger in the U.S., yes, from what I've seen. Driving long distances in the U.S. is terrible because the speeds, speed limits are so low. Uh, just in the West Coast, come to Texas. You can get across, I mean, Texas is the biggest state, well, second biggest biggest in the in the main portion of the United States and uh, there are areas in Texas you can go 85 miles an hour because there's just nothing out there got an itchy nose today I don't know what's up I gotta stop snorting crack Cocaine? Cocaine. That's what you snort. You smoke a crack. Shows what I know about drug use, right? I gotta stop injecting the marijuanas. Eighty-five miles per hour is decent. Yeah, the, the majority of highways in Texas are 75 miles per hour, and then there are sections that are 85. And to my knowledge, no other state goes to 85 miles per hour. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure Texas is the only one that goes that fast. You don't snort skooma, don't you drink skooma? 
thought that was a beverage. Or is skooma just the word for drugs and you do whatever with it? I also find these intersections very interesting. I don't know why they do this. Where I exit and then have to U back around, as opposed to exiting before the highway and just having an, an exit ramp like you would in the United States. Maybe this is, this is to force people to slow down faster? Because you would definitely have to slow down to make that turn. But if you were coming the other direction, you don't have one of those. It's very interesting. You don't know what skooma is. Okay, fair enough. You're just familiar with the memes, huh? likely a space reason. Ah, that, okay, okay. That would make sense. I could definitely see that. You'd have to buy the land from the state or something to build the road there, or the state would have to use it, as opposed to using the land for something else. See, this is all stuff that I didn't think of. Europe likes to keep things efficient space-wise, or land-wise. Most countries are more dense than the U.S. This is absolutely true. Except in the Northeast. In the Northeast, there is a very big, like, lack of space. Once you get to about Washington, D.C., it's basically one giant city all the way up to New York. Like, there's none of this open field area. Nice countryside. Okay. Yep, let's park there. What's up, Eternal? Good morning to you as well, sir. Here we go, that'll even out. Well, horsies! <laughs> Alright, what was that email? Drivers with new equipment needed. Highest price job. Well, let's keep taking the highest priced jobs, shall we? Huh, that's funny. Wow, this, this truck has like no notifications of anything. Current and average MPG are liters per kilometer. Water temp and oil temp, and then whatever this is.
hauling furniture, right? Yeah. Air, it says. Air in the tires? Or air pressure for the air brakes, possibly? Maybe. Oh, there's my cruise control. Okay. Gotcha. I guess I should watch this, then. Make a good point. Yo, what's up, Les Darkmire? How are you? Long time no see. You tend to talk loudly. Yell, most people would say. Because earbuds make it hard for me to hear myself when there's anything else playing through them. Yeah, it's something I had to get used to when I started doing, like, recording videos for YouTube or doing... I mean, when I switched from YouTube to streaming, it wasn't that big of a transition, obviously. But when I first started doing YouTube, I had to get used to not yelling while I was, like, listening to a game. And it did take me a while to get used to it, but it's not... Uh, it wasn't that big of a deal. Probably took me a few a few days to get used to it. I still periodically talk a little too loud, but that car's moving over. Let's get going. over the ear uh, so like these style headphones give you terrible ear aches I have like larger than average ears I would guess I don't know if I don't really know what the average size the ear is but I feel like I have larger than average ears uh, so I get when I, I'm very picky about what type of headphones I get I want to make sure my ear actually fits inside the ear cup so that uh, the, the padding around the outside of the ear cup is surrounding my ear. Uh, if it's actually sitting on my ear, it causes me ear, ear aches as well, but that's why I tend to get, I tend to, to spend a lot of time researching uh, headphones when I have to end up switching. I'll spend like a week researching them and looking videos and Kind of trying to find pictures where I can see how big the ear cup is. Yeah, I don't know. I have, I, I just always go with really big headphones. That seems to take care of it for me. But I also spend what I consider a lot of money on headphones, but then seeing like Beats by Dre, I'm like, these are not a lot of money. 
because I spend, I, I would say between 80 and $100 on a pair of headphones. That seems to be about the average of what I spend. And then I see like, I used to think they were super expensive until all these companies started coming out with like $300 headphones, $400 headphones that like somehow became wildly popular. And I was just like, no way, dude. I am not buying those. That is insane. And they're also very small. Headphones tend to squeeze your head like a vice grip. That's why I get large ones. You get you get headphones that f initially feel way too big for your head, and then you don't really have that problem. Well, yeah, I'm not I'm not debating that part of it. I'm not saying they're worth three hundred dollars. I say they cost three hundred dollars. <laughs> Alright, cool. We're good. This car really wants to pass me up. and got yourself a set of Sony headphones with Bluetooth and noise canceling. Nice. I am not a fan of wireless uh, speakers for the most part. Wireless headphones specifically. Bluetooth, Bluetooth sounds really good, but it has short range. So if you stand up from your computer and walk like 20 or 30 feet away, there's a good chance you're going to lose sync. And then wireless headphones that have much longer range have very poor audio quality. And so I'm like, I would just rather have headphones that plug in and just take them off when I need to walk away. Having a cord connected to something has never really bothered me personally. Okay, yeah, well... Wireless head wireless uh, headphones for a cell phone, or for uh, like me, I use a wireless headset at work, just so I don't have to hold the receiver up to my face the entire day. Uh, I use a little Bluetooth earpiece for my cell phone, and I also have my cell phone connect to my car with Bluetooth. So it's not like I don't use wireless. It's just. Um, if I'm looking for something that's more of a higher quality, I prefer uh, uh, I prefer wired. You use the headphones when you're out and about. See, that makes sense. Bluetooth, your Bluetooth headphones, I'm sure, work great in Bluetooth range. Because I've never had the audio quality on Bluetooth be bad at all. It always sounds amazing. It's just when I used to sell Bluetooth speakers, people would be all like, oh, I take my Bluetooth like 10 or 15 feet away from the thing and then I lose connection. And I'm like, yep, that's Bluetooth. That's just, that's how it is. Bluetooth has limited range. And they're all like, what? But this was so expensive. It says right on the box, like 10 feet. <laughs> Of 
I'm, I'm a little bitter from like retail sales of computer electronics and people not researching their products. Yeah, see, Pris has got it down. She uses the Bluetooth when she's out and about, and she's got a set of USB for at the house. That's the way to do it. Itchy nose. Same thing with my mouse and keyboard. I have them wired as well. I think Apple is one of the problems with people misunderstanding technology now. What Apple what Apple does, what Apple excels at exceptionally well is their marketing and sales team. They can make anything they produce sound amazing. But the technology behind it all is all like 2 years old, 2 or 3 years old. So they'll release something brand new, and they'll be like, look at how awesome it is, and they make it sound really cool and amazing. And you're like, I'm sitting here with an Android phone that's three years old going, I can do this on this phone. I don't understand. <laughs> Anybody who's worked with customers is, ends up jaded in some way. You're not wrong. Oh, you're talking about Apple stuff? Yeah. We we have one... Because I work in IT now. We have one company that we work with that has exclusively Apple products. And I tell you, it's a huge pain when somebody will bring in, like, a Windows-based machine and be like, hey, this guy needs to hook up his Windows computer to our Apple network. And we're just like, oh my god, it's it's a nightmare to try to get them to talk to each other properly. And it works in reverse, too. When someone brings in an Apple computer into a Windows-only network, and they're like, hey, I need this to communicate with the domain controller? I'm just like, yeah, that's not happening. I mean, can I get an Apple computer to communicate with the domain controller? Yes. But you're also going to have to pay for like four hours of setup time. Because there's a lot of, like, annoying crap you have to go through. <laughs> oh, I know, right? <laughs> Just read the report. I, I've done the same thing where I'll send one of my coworkers an email. Like, I'm like, hey, I'm getting ready to leave out of town for a job. Can you call this customer back and try to finish the, the finish fixing their problem I was helping them with? And then I'll write in the email everything I've done step by step. And then I'll get a phone call later that's been like, dude, why didn't you just do this? And I'm like, I put in there that I did it and it didn't work. Well, you obviously did it wrong. And then I'll come back from my trip and I'll be like, so what fixed it? And they're like, I don't know, man, it still broke. Can you, can you get back on it? And I'm like, what did you do? Uh, I mean, I called them once and I got their voicemail. I'm like, you didn't even try. <sighs> you lazy bum. I can't change the laws of physics. Your first job was at Kmart, and, after, and less than a month after you started working there, they announced they were closing it. That sucks. You're like, yes, I got my first job. Two weeks later, going out of business. Shit.
But I mean, at least at that point, when you apply to another job and they're like, why did you only work at this place for three weeks? You're like, uh, they closed. I got laid off because the company went bankrupt. Oh, well then that's not really your fault. No, it's not. Uh, cold calls for an advertising agency? Ugh. We used to have a customer that did that. That's all they did. They were a uh, an ad company that would cold, cold call businesses and try to sell them advertisements in their, like, flyer. You worked as a dealer at a casino? That actually sounds like it would have been fun. All right, so let's get high value cargo. New job. Here we go. These are heavy and high value. Berlin to Saskatchewan? Skisses? See, I don't know what that is. Uh, an industrial condenser for a high tech device. Let's take the industrial condenser. It pays like 400, 400 euros more. Oh! Oh! This is, this is the job where I have pilot cars! Nice. Damn, look at this thing. This thing looks amazing. Can I can I drive now? Okay. Uh Avoid possible conflict with the escort vehicles by keeping the cargo between them. Do not drive out of the estimated route, nor to gas stations or rest stops. Obey speed limitations, which will be ensured by the front escort vehicle. Watch out for overtaking traffic. And change lane maneuver is the rear car goes first, then the front car, then me. Okay, that's fine. Wow, that thing looks impressive, doesn't it? Alright, cool. So let's go. This is not part of Heavy Cargo. This is part of another DLC. I forget which one it was. I need to go right. That sticks out really wide on my car, on my truck, okay. This is neat, I like this. Yeah, transports with the windmill blades. Yeah, we see those a lot here as well. Perfect, it's raining. Excellent.
Did I leave the rear escort vehicle in the dust? That's pretty gross. Mustard. Oh, dude, three wipers? That looks awesome. Oh, fart. Go full speed. I think we can. What kind of truck is this? It's a DAF. Okay. I had people do that to me once. I handed you a 20. That's part of the reason why um, at least at least he, I don't know if it's common practice where you are, but at least here, when we take money, we always say out of this much. So we'd be like, it's $14.86. And then they hand you a $20 bill and you'd take it and go out of 20. And then they, you'd have to wait for them to say yes. And then you would put the money into the drawer. So then you could go, you, f you verbally confirmed that I was holding a $20 bill. That's also the reason why we have cameras above every register as well. So you can go and look at the camera and go, nope, that's a $20 bill. Every time somebody would say they handed me a, a certain, a, like a smaller bill, or a larger bill, if they wanted more change back. Um, and they claimed that they had given me something else. I'd be on like, okay, cool. Let's let me go pull up the camera footage and we can see what I what you actually handed me. They were always like, ah, uh, no, never mind. We're good. What truck is this? This is a DAF. Uh. No, I don't know. It doesn't tell me. It's a DAF something. I was already in that lane, but okay. See, that would be more convenient if money in the United States was different colors, but... The United States is so weird when it comes to change. Not changes in money, but changes in altering stuff. 
that, uh, like, if anybody ever was like, hey, we should change our money to be different colors and it'll make things easier, uh, like, that would never fly. People would come up with the most random-ass reasons why they shouldn't change it. And then they'd pretend like you were trying to murder people. Do you realize that changing money from green to, like, blue is gonna cost 600 bajillion dollars and it's gonna kill 40,000 people? And you're like, what? Yo, what's up, Hasty? Well, I'm also playing in Euro Truck, so I figured in Euro Truck I'll play by European rules. Even though I'm American. I can't see the road. He stares at you accusatorily. Oh, smart. No, that's alright. Oh, I see how it is. Yeah, I'm, I'm working up a European truck profile so that the, the few times that we do play Euro truck uh, in the convoy, I want to have an account for that as well. We have different sized, uh, we don't have different sized bills, physically speaking, but all of our coinage is different sizes. And then the edges of the coins are either smooth or ridged, depending on uh, the monetary value. So, for example, the penny and the dime are about the same size, but the penny has a smooth edge and the dime has a ridged edge. Uh, and then a nickel is about halfway between the size of a penny and a quarter. Um, but the nickel is smoothed edged and a quarter is ridged. Um, the dollar coins are smooth edged and they're just slightly larger than a quarter. And then a 50 cent piece is crazy big. Fifty cents is like twice the size of any other single coin. So it's giant. It's the riveting coin talk that you tune in for. What's up, Zura? Yeah, US 50 cent are huge. It's weird how this truck has three wipers. How, how interesting is that? It's kind of neat though.
Well, in all honesty, Eternal, you don't really see American 50-cent pieces around in, in circulation either. They're still legal tender, so they're still worth 50 cents, but they're so rare. Same thing with dollar coins. You're legally tender. Oh, damn, I got wrecked. Move over, pilot car. I can't move over until you do. Fine, screw it. I'm moving over. There he goes. Yeah, $2 bill, those are interesting. Honestly, I wish they'd get rid of the $1 bill and the uh, one cent coin. The one cent coin is just useless. And the dollar bill can be replaced with the dollar coin and it's actually less expensive to manufacture. All right, I'm turning here, aren't I? Yeah. Go. Oh, I thought you were doing like like predator mouth. <laughs> I was like, "What do you want, lady?" You're like, <laughs> I don't know, "What do predators want?" What do predators want? Yeah. To hunt. Oh, you know that is true. That's all they wanted For to do. Tonight, we hunt. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. <clears throat> okay. So we're done with that job. That was fun. What email did I get? Special transports. Nice. Berlin is a location. Well, I'm glad my, my main place is in Berlin. Handy. My main garage. There's another Berlin job. That This time it's a high-tech device. Well, it pays the most. I need, I need high-paying jobs, so we're going to take it. Okay. Yep, same rules. That's fine. Oh, good lord. Look at that thing. What the hell is that? Yeesh, that's, that's going to be awkward. Cruise control. This is a... Oh, this is a Scania. giant cheese wheel not quite all right so this is going to be the same route we just took however it's a completely different load okay hold on
All right. Uh, we're going to do that. Three. That thing. There we go. I need to sit further back. There we go. That's okay. Actually, I could do that. Okay. I don't like the, uh, the mirrors on this, but I'll live. Alright, so I'm basically going to have to drive in the center of both lanes. Otherwise, I'm not going to make it. This thing is so wide. Alright, let's go, dude. Let's start booking it. Yeah, look, I'm in the middle of the, the two lanes, and the box is almost scraping the guardrail on the left-hand side. That's crazy. Your dad used to drive one of these escort vehicles? That's awesome. Well, I'm gonna hit that truck. Okay, no, I'm not. Never mind. We're fine. Are you stopping? Don't stop. Let's keep going. Oh, that's a key I need to rebind. Hold on. Gameplay. No, not gameplay. Key buttons. Dashboard. Map mode. That. There we go. That's what I wanted.
Okay, this is gonna be tricky. Squeezing through here. are really close. Good luck getting around me, truck, or car, whatever. And these guys are ballsy going around that high-tech device I'm hauling. We're getting close to our delivery point now, fellas. I think I'm gonna get a point in long distance this time, take a little bit longer job. Delivered, son. Uh, I can't get over into that lane. I'm gonna have to ride the center. Keep the cargo between the escort vehicles. I'm trying, but <laughs> this is a really tight area.
that's just way too close, dude. So what are these blue signs with the red slash through it? I don't know what that is either. No parking, okay. Or no stopping, got gotcha. you. See if I can get in the entrance here. Okay, we're good. Oh, right. I need to change the button that turns off the truck as well. All right, let's go long distance level. Bank has increased excellence. Now I can buy my first truck. Uh, buttons. Start and stop engine. There we go. Okay. So, I have not actually found a truck dealer, have I? Uh, a Scania. In Dresden. Alright, first off, we're going to take a 400,000 euro loan. Yes. We're going to go to that dealer. Do you want to travel to Dresden? Yes. All right. All right, that's a streamline, an R2012, an R, or an S. I think the streamline is the one that I like. You know what I can do? I can go into customize. It's interior what I want to look at. It doesn't look so bad. I like those mirrors. I'm pretty sure this is the truck I liked. Yeah, okay. So let's customize this. We're going to go with the... Hmm, okay. 12 speed with retarder. Let's do that. Interior, standard, 
paint job. We'll worry about that last. Okay, we're going to get a... No, I want that. Okay. License plate on the front. No thanks. Default is fine for everything else. What is this? Oh, those are the mud flaps. Gotcha. Okay. Pretty straightforward. Nothing out of the ordinary. Eh, we'll leave it on there. Interior. Steering wheel. I can't do anything with the wheel yet, no. But I can get a steering knob. That's that. Okay, paint. Paint. That's it. Well, I guess. I don't see that color changing anywhere. What about this color? Okay. So this is the primary color. Black looks pretty good. With a deep purple tinge. I like that. That's really weird. I don't know where that is. Let's go with deep purple as well. I like that. Or I could go back with this. Oh, remember that? That was sick. Oh my god, that is so America. Okay, hold on. I think the stock colors on that actually look pretty good. Okay, let's do that truck. That's going to cost me 128. That's not bad. Okay, and then I think I also need to upgrade my garage. Uh, so, oh, I didn't get the long distance. Okay, let's do that. Company manager. Garage. Let's actually upgrade that to the first level. Okay. Excellent. All right, I think we're at the point where it'll actually let me get into multiplayer with this. Let's test that, shall we? So let's back out to profiles. Hey, it worked. Excellent. All right, so let's exit and we'll restart real quick and see if it'll let me in with the multiplayer. Nope, not that. Go away, you. This.
that. Will it work? Okay. That's fine. I'm not doing that. Drive. Hey, hey. So I should be in Berlin. Excellent. Okay. So let's... Let's fix my mirrors here. Awesome. Let's sit back. Steering wheel is in a decent position, but we might do that with it. There we go. What's up, DJ? That's fine. Okay, I like it. Let's take a look, whoops, that's not what I wanted, at the map. If I locate, I've not located everything in Berlin yet. So let's actually go this way. We'll go by the dealership and by the, uh, this is going to be the, um, recruitment center. It must be over here. Or no, I came out the back. Okay, never mind. Man dealership discovered. Look at that. That was easy. Excellent. Okay. So, whoops, let's do this, pull this over here, we'll go ahead and readjust this the way I like it. That needs to be...
purple. And this is going to be yellow. Load flags? Nah. Player tag. Also purple. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Whoops, that's shift tab, that's steam. Speed limiter, 90 kilometers, yeah, let's do that. Let's turn off music. Window opacity. Yeah, a little more. A little more. There we go. What's up, Theo? How are you doing? All right, cool. That works. Now let's pick up a job, shall we? Nine grand to take a dozer crawler. That'll be fun. To Hamburg. Let's give that a shot. Oh, heavy cargo. I'm pretty low on heavy cargo. So yeah, let's not do that. All right, we'll take this instead. A driller. Dude's 300 meters away from me. I'll be okay. He should start showing up on my, my GPS eventually. Do I not? I don't have a dash GPS. I'm gonna have to pick one up eventually when I level up. Interesting looking driller. How did you get your settings right there where you put your tag on? Uh, I hit tab, which brings up this window. And then if you right mouse click, you'll release the mouse cursor. And then you can go to settings and you can get in here and adjust all this stuff. So this is where I actually edited the player tag itself. But that's how you get into all these windows. So then you just right click to get your mouse back into view mode. But yeah, that took me a while to figure that one out as well. Also, what's up, Patrick? Patrick Swayze? That's awesome. Apparently this Alex OQ's guy is apparently on my Steam's friends list or something? 
because his his icon is showing up as purple. Either that or I colored the icons backwards. Which is possible. Excellent. Hey mom. Welcome back. We're going to we're going to finish this one delivery and then we're going to call it for uh, for right now on the stream. So sorry you came back, but at least you get to see the final delivery. This is me after I've gotten into multiplayer in Euro Truck 2. Hasty, are you still here? Do you have Euro Truck 2 or do you just have American Truck? Fart. I love going there. Sounds like Australian farts. Just ATS. Okay, cool. If you if if this gets to a point where you're really enjoying doing this enough that you actually decide to get Euro Truck 2 and you want to do when we do this in Euro Truck 2, set up your garage in Berlin, because that's where mine is. That'll make it easier for, uh, if we start doing convoys on a regular basis and you want to get into ETS-2 convoys as well as American truck, we're going to start in Berlin. So if you have a garage in Berlin, you can fast travel there for the start. I'll do most of them in American truck, though. Just stay on the road. This is actually a pretty short job, but it pays pretty well. I guess it's because it's such a, a, a large item.
Ugh, toll booths. Boo! Balverines. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, is there no fee for toll booths in multiplayer? Apparently not. I don't think I had to pay anything there. Handy. Fable joke? Yeah, it is. Hasty got it too. on the world map. Player color, friend color. Yeah, I swapped them. Whoops. Yellow for player. Purple for friend. Okay, there we go. That's better. like this snow mod that the multiplayer allowed. It's kind of neat. It's really cold where I live right now. I say really cold. It's really cold for where I live right now. Where I live right now. If that makes any sense. It's not snow cold by any means, but... It makes me, like, looking at this also makes me feel cold. <laughs> like, I'm talking about how cold it is where I live and Hasty's up there like, shut up. You don't know cold. That's too large. Let's make that smaller. Oh, like that. That's perfect. I'm not going to disagree with that last statement. I didn't think you would. It's 18F where you're at, Mom. I think it's like 35 here. I don't know the exact uh, conversion to, uh, to Celsius, but that's like 1 or 2 Celsius at the most. So we are just above freezing. But for South Texas, that's really cold.
It's 4 Fahrenheit where you're at right now. Okay. And it's warmed up a lot. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty cold, man. The coldest I think I've ever been was when I was in Boy Scouts and I was camping and we spent the night outdoors when it was 20 degrees Fahrenheit. So being like sleeping outdoors in 20 degrees Fahrenheit, what is that in Celsius? Like minus four, minus five maybe? That was un that was very unpleasant. What's 20 Fahrenheit? Yeah. What is 20 Fahrenheit in Celsius? I know it's below freezing. It's about minus 6. Okay. Yeah, would you like to go camping outside? Sleep sleep outdoors, Hasty, in minus 6. Would you like to do that? I didn't. Awesome. Yeah, a nylon tent. Not like a high quality, good tent. Like a $50 nylon tent that you buy at Academy or something. Anyway, that's going to do it for Euro Truck for me for today. So thank you guys for coming and hanging out for a little while. I appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time.